As we have seen, the accessibility of public buildings is vital in facilitating people's interaction with South Dublin County Council. It is also crucial that the public spaces that surround us are equipped to service the diverse needs of people that live, work or visit South Dublin County. So as you look around the spaces and the squares that are emerging in Tala, you'll see that they're all very, very friendly towards somebody who is in a wheelchair or somebody elderly in terms of you'll see slopes and steps combined. Really it was a mindset change. Mindset change in terms of public buildings and your own private building and then the public spaces. When we provide this, this curb that has to be completed with uh, a tactile paving because otherwise uh, visually impaired people would inadvertently walk into the road and put themselves in danger. Another key area that South Dublin County Council has focused on is mobility. The county is well served by a Dublin bus fleet that comprises low floor wheelchair accessible buses. The Lewis Red Line from Connolly in Dublin city centre stops at Talla within 100 metres of County Hall, Civic Theatre, Rua Red County Arts Centre, the County Library, Talla Cross and the Square Shopping Centre. Lewis is a state-of-the-art tram system, providing accessible public transport. When you're building a brand new system, you don't want to preclude anyone from being able to access all of the system. And it's very important to, to us to um, make sure that everything is accessible to anyone with any kind of disability. I don't think it's just a tram, it's a metaphor for all trams or for all public uh, transport. It's a very, I think it's a very powerful um, it's not just an idea about how you move people around, but that there's some idea about the quality of what their life is like as they're being moved around, which is, I haven't seen anywhere here before. You don't really get it in a bus. I think that's why it's a more powerful thing uh, than, than the bus. Though I have to say, the, the, the quality of bus corridors now, something like Stalorgan or the ones we have here, can shift large numbers of people easily and quickly. So all of those things are great. Great for the economy, great for people having choice what to do and where to do it. In developing a sustainable housing stock, South Dublin County Council is focused on delivering adaptive housing. This is seen as fundamental to providing housing that can respond to people's life cycle and accommodate people with differing abilities and requirements. What lifetime adaptable housing is, is building a house or building accommodation, whether it's a house or a flat, so that it, with minimum effort and minimum cost, if the, the, the tenants needs change during the lifetime that they're living in that accommodation, that the actual house or accommodation can be adapted to suit them. With simple things like, is that door up uh, sufficiently wide for somebody in a wheelchair? Is there a downstairs loo? And then eventually, even in the life, uh, in the life cycle of a house, you, know, you may end up needing to sleep downstairs. Otherwise, what's the option? So that choice, that freedom, that sense of the house being uh, committed to the longer haul, uh, again, says very powerful things about us as a council and about the value we place on long-term homes and what they mean to the people who live in them. They're not just tenants, they're citizens and they're their homes, not just their houses. The quality of life of citizens in South Dublin County depends on the delivery of accessible recreation and environmental facilities. South Dublin County Council has introduced several innovative projects in this area. It's always been an important factor in parks because we design parks so to get as many people in there as possible, regardless of a person's ability. Um, I think with the Act in 2005, a lot more people became more aware of it and now design with that in mind so we have all-inclusive access wherever possible. In South Dublin, we've got 4,000 acres of open space that's available to the public. We, if we make that as accessible as possible, that means there's more places out there for people to play, to interact, to enjoy themselves, whether they be sitting down, just having a picnic, going for a stroll, actively playing a, um, a game of baseball, or maybe just even playing in a playground. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If it's there, your quality of life will improve. Providing innovation in the built environment needs to be complemented by an innovative approach to IT service delivery. South Dublin County Council has a substantial web presence that has a clear accessibility focus. We're very committed to the whole online aspect of delivering our services. Um, we believe that 
uh, people should have equal access to, to our facilities, regardless of their competence with either a computer or their level of ability or disability within themselves. I think that may be one failing we might have had at the beginning. Uh, accessibility would have been way down the, the list of priorities, but I have to say anything that's done from now on, it's accessibility is actually top of the list when we go out to graphic designers or with our own people when we're looking at what, what way we're going to present content. As we have discovered, significant progress has been made in making South Dublin County an accessible place. We hope you will enjoy this series of access guides. Further videos, audio and transcripts are available as part of this series. For further information on accessibility and to access other council information, please visit www.southdublin.ie.